Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today we're going to use tape diagrams and arrays to solve multiplication problems. So our learning goal for today says, I can skip count by fours using arrays and tape diagrams to solve multiplication problems. So let's jump in and get started and start some skip counting. Okay, so what we're going to do on this problem we're gonna skip count by fours using the array to be able to multiply. So first we're gonna skip count and then we're gonna talk about how that relates to multiplication. Okay, so the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna to count to 40 using this array and we're gonna hum the number as we point to each dot. And for the last dot in each row, we're gonna say that number out loud and write it to the right of the row. So let me give you an example how to do this. So I'll have my pen here. So I would go hmm, 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 four and then I would write four next to it. So what I would like for you guys to do is go ahead and have your array template out, and I would like for you to write four next to it as well. All right, so let's keep going. So we have four, you're gonna count on from here. So you would go four, hmm, 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 eight. Okay, then you would go eight, so we're at eight, hmm, 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 12. Okay, I want you guys to pause the video and I want you to fill in the rest of the array template. So keep going. So you're at 12 here, you would go 16. Okay, so go ahead and fill the rest of it in. Once you're done, click play. I'm just going to quickly fill mine in. Okay, so hopefully yours looks like mine. Now the next part of what we're gonna do is we are going to um, jump in and find some expressions that match what we're saying. Before we do that, do you guys notice what we were counting by in this um, array? Yeah, we were counting by fours because each row had four in them, good job. So this next part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say a multiplication expression. And I want you to find the answer on the array, and then you're gonna write the expression and an equal sign next okay, to the so answer to make the, the equation 12. Um, so you sure. would wanna to go to this row right here that has the 12, and you would say that this is the one, two, three, third row, and I'm multiplying by, multiplying by four, so you could say 12 equals three times four, okay? So let me give you one this time, and now you're going to do the same thing. You're gonna find that answer, and then you're going to write the multiplication expression that matches it next to it. Okay, so I'm gonna say 20. I want you to find and write the multiplication expression that matches 20 as the product. All right, friends, here's what I came up with. 20 equals five times four. Okay. Your next one is 32. Find the product of 32 and write the multiplication expression that matches. If you need time, click pause so you can write it. I came up with 32 equals 8 times 4. Also notice how because of that commutative property of multiplication, you can flip that. So you could have 8 or 20, sorry, 32 equals 8 times 4. Or you could have 32 equals 4 times 8 because you can flip those, okay? This last number that I give you, this last product, I want you to write one of the multiplication expressions on the right-hand side, and I want you to write the one that follows the commutative property on the left-hand side. So you're really writing two multiplication expressions for this one number. So find 40. What two products total 40? I'm sorry, what two factors give you a product of 40. Okay, so pause it, write down those two multiplication problems that match and play when you're ready. All right, so 40 equals 10 times four. You also should have written 40 equals four times 10. Okay, so that's just a good way to be able to practice our skip counting by fours and analyzing the array. Let's jump in and take a look at another problem. So we're gonna use this model of this array that we just talked about right there. Okay, ta-da, there it is. So notice in this one, there were um, 10 rows and there was four in each row. Okay, 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a tape diagram. Um, I would like for you to draw a tape diagram that represents the number of groups shown on the array template. So remember there's 10 groups on the array template. So go ahead and draw a tape diagram that represents the 10 groups. Remember, draw it as a rectangle. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try and get it to look as nicely as you can and as close as you can to being even with each one of those groups. If you need more time, pause the video, but I'm going to show you what I came up with. So ta-da! That's what I came up with as my um, tape diagram. So there are 10 total groups. So I divided my whole rectangle into 10 equal parts or as close as I could equally. You just wanna make sure that you don't have one that's like this big and then the next one is like super skinny because that's not equal parts, okay? How many objects are in each group? So if I go back up to my array, I have my 10 rows down the side. How many objects are in each group? Yeah, four. So I want you in this first box, I would like for you to draw in those objects and I want you to label across the top, just like we did across the bottom, 10 groups. I want you to label across the top of that first unit of what that represents. So go ahead and do that, click play, and you're ready to share. All right, friends, so here's what I came up with. There's my four objects and I labeled it as four objects as well, okay? So that's just a simple way. Because they didn't tell us that it's pencils or markers or cookies or anything, you can just say it's four objects or you could just label it as four if you needed to. Now, what's the in missing information that we don't know about this tape diagram? We know that there's 10 groups. We know that there's four objects. Excuse me, friends. But what do we not know? Yeah, we don't know the total. So go ahead and label that under the bottom of your number of groups. So I labeled it as just the total, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're gonna skip count. So we can do that same strategy that we did before where we count by the fours and then we can hum in between if you need to. If you can skip count by fours without humming, rock on, do it, okay? And then I want you to be able to write a multiplication um, equation that represents this um, this tape diagram, please. So go ahead and skip count, fill in. If you want to fill in the rest of it, you can with your dots. Um, if you want to maybe just do four, like you're counting, so four, eight, to help you remember. Normally you wouldn't label them in there like that because you're thinking that's eight in each one. So if you wanted to, you could do four underneath, maybe a little bit smaller, and then eight, and then 12, and then so on. Okay, so just trying to maybe kind of not write inside the boxes because that might confuse you when you're looking at your tape diagram. Okay, so pause it, go ahead and figure out that um, what goes in your tape diagram and then write your multiplication um, equation that represents this problem. Once you're ready, click play and we'll go over it together. Okay, friends, so here's what I came up with. 10 times four equals 40 because there's 10 groups, that's the first factor. The second factor is the number in each group. And my product is when I multiply those two factors or the total, okay? So good job with that one, friends. If you would like to practice that again, you can practice it making an array of seven times four, or I'm sorry, a tape diagram that represents the multiplication equation seven times four, or maybe even four times five. You can really pick any two numbers to practice that again. So check out um, your learning guide if you need maybe another practice with that one. Okay, but otherwise you guys nailed it with tape diagrams and arrays today. Good job, my friends. Um, please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice today. Also, if you have any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to reach out and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Have a good day, friends. Bye.